Well, holy smokes, it ain't no joke, guys. We ended up getting a brand new Black Ops 6 gameplay leak. And to understand how big of a leak this was, apparently we ended up getting the Warzone map leaked out, right? The entire multiplayer got leaked out, perks, maps, and everything like that. And you would think that people would be bricked up. You would think that people would be shaking, doing backflips, and all that, right? None of that happened. Apparently, you got Blame Truth hating on the game, though! Yay! Apparently, there's a whole lot of people saying 4,000 devs, 4 years, 4,000 devs, we deserve better. And this got so out of hands that apparently Charlie Intel had to issue like a damage control tweet. I mean, what they said kind of makes sense uh, because uh, you know what I mean, right? Like the gameplay is uh, early, early gameplay. It's like from PS4, jailbroken is what we're hearing. Like the video if you just want a good game, man. Eh? Dislike the video if you want the the friendly <laughs> Like, I want to know if you want those $20, $100 bundles, or you want a good game. I like the video if you just want a good game, and no, like, crazy microtransactions. But apparently, this is what happened, right? So, the Black Ops 6 leaks, and I got a video that I want to share with you guys, so, uh, you know, put your seatbelts on, guys. The Black Ops 6 leaks appear to be due to someone who has a jailbroken PS4 accessing builds, which is why the graphics looks rough, the, the last gen versions aren't going to look as good as PS5 and Xbox Series X and PC! <laughs> you got the homie Slushy saying PS4 players, Hunter TV be like, they're about to be this situation all over again. And if you do remember, I mean, these were like some dark times, ladies and gentlemen. These were some dark times, man. I remember like the PS3 uh, and the Xbox 360 days, and especially when Black Ops 3 came out, uh, it was wilder than Johnny Sin's movie okay and before i show you the video another thing that went down i believe this is why we got the gameplay leaking out today right because somebody and i've even seen somebody stream on kick.tv as well shout out to the the homie Brahman tv Bruh. Bruh. if you're listening to it shout out to you gang gang he dm me on twitter and linked me like a live stream so suckers are live streaming right now seconds are playing the game dead ass though Sick is playing the game right now, and I believe it's because of this. An update for Call of Duty app has been added to PlayStation database. That could be a massive update to the game, potentially getting it ready for Black Ops 6. Uh, a beta update. Don't release it for this update yet, but it could reduce the app file size by over 100 gigs per PlayStation. Bruh. So this is good news that it's going to reduce it, but then you look at the full size. It's like, holy crap, bro. Like, what are we talking about for PS4 82 gigs? For PS5, 174 gigs. You're saying that that's how big of the that, that, that's how big the beta is gonna be, bro. What what is going on, right? What is going on? And you got the homie blame truth hitting on the game. Roll it. What I saw from the leaks today is not a Treyarch game. If you want my honest opinion, and this is how it's going to be when the full game releases, guaranteed, the game looks like someone modded Cold War. On to Modern Warfare Roman Numeral 2 2022 Electric Boogaloo, it's Dorbin time. Not the OG one, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. That's okay. what it looks like. Okay. It looks like they just kind of took Cold War, the, the skin of it, and then pasted it on the, the skeleton and the organs Damn. and the muscle tissue of Modern Warfare Roman Numeral 2 from two years ago. That's truly what it looks like. Down to the fact okay. that I saw so many doors, and, and look guys, I want to remind you of this, okay? Because a lot of people forget in this community. People just, I don't know, man. They just don't remember um, anything. Dementia, maybe? Maybe that's the reason why community forgets. Uh, I'm just trying to make sense of it. Like, uh, If it's yeah, further yeah. back than a couple of years. But back in 2020, when Cold War launched, one of the big selling points of the game was that it would not have doors in multiplayer. Traditional multiplayer would not have doors, and it would not have tax print. That was a literal fucking marketing bullet point to sell the game. So what happened in the past four years? What happened? in the past four years, Treyarch? What, what made you change your mind in these past four years? Did you join the church of, of the latter-day doors? Did an angel tax sprint to you in the night and Damn. speak to you and give you a message? No, I know. Of, of course, like I've seen like people being mad and disappointed and all that, but I haven't seen people being this like upset. The homie Blame Truth is like really, really upset right now, right? Uh, we're we're going to listen to him because, yeah, the gameplay leaks are real. They are as real as those UFOs flying on top of your forehead, guys, and apparently they got struck, they got copy strike, copyright strike, uh, takedown by Activision as well. So, yeah, the gameplay leaks are real, man. Like uh, Black Ops 6 multiplayer game play this media has been disabled we had the skyline map right nine black ops six maps ended up leaking out and we're hearing that the potential this is a potential black ops six multiplayer map list so you got Vrakuta, uh mine you got Vrakuta again Bruh. okay 
Catacomb, Flat, uh, Flat, Dig, Babylon. Babylon? Like the, the Popo, the Babylon? Like, gang, gang, blah, Bumble Club, homie. I, I don't know about that. Batty Boy. Uh, train Graveyard, Russian Base, Fat Pom Pom, uh, Silk Road, Silk Road, Silk Road 2, Hacienda Alt, Strip Mall, Red, Firing Range 2. Okay, what the, what the hell is Bruh. Firing Range 2? So, <laughs> you got uh, Wield, Ca Canals, Island, Pillage, Rid Riddar, Stealth, Nukedown. So, you got like 20 maps. Damn! But you also got like alternative and I'm assuming like the, this is just one map but it's gonna have like a different kind of variation, right? Uh, bro said potential maps like he ain't played the game. <laughs> they didn't tell us the names of all 20 though. So uh, yeah, bro acted like because yeah, they were invited out to play early so that's why he brought that up. But wait for From it. From God, what in the fuck happened in the past four years to make you completely change your stance when it comes to these mechanics that if I'm being honest. And, and this is why people are saying four years and four thousand deaths four years and four thousand deaths guys. anyone with an actual brain does not want in the multiplayer if you sit there in my comment section right now and you know i'm talking about you yeah you take that fucking hot dog out your mouth man costco has not raised the price on those motherfuckers in like 30 years why in the hell has has call of duty gone up ten dollars in the past five I, yeah. I digress get the fucking hot dog out your mouth all right <laughs> listen to me right now listen to me right now if you like doors in multiplayer you need to really reevaluate your life. Doors don't belong in multiplayer, especially doors that are made by fucking NASA that cannot be blown up or <laughs> destructed, I will say. Uh, I don't know why we took a step back yeah. from Vanguard. Again, Sledgehammer Games giving us a good feature. If they're going to have doors in the game, at least... Man, listen, doors got to go, okay? Doors got to go. Like the video if you agree, man. Or at least, like, one door per map. Just one door, okay? I feel like that we can do one door. Uh, yeah, uh, of course, that's gonna get the homie still mad. Uh, Blame Troth is still gonna be mad about it. But, like, yeah, like, I wanna see the homie being mad as well. But I also wanna see homies being happy too. You know, like, I wanna, I wanna balance. I want balance. I want these videos as well. I want the homie to be uploading these hate videos. I want him to be hating. Cause, like, get that dopamine flowing, you know what I'm saying? Like, get that, get that dopamine flowing, right? Uh, and you, I also wanna see homies being happy. I wanna see good content. I wanna see the game being killing it too. So we get good game. And we also have, uh, the, the classic blame truth videos i want to see classic videos man is that too much to ask us is that too much to ask make them destructible you know what i mean like I, I don't understand how is it realistic to have some door that can withstand like 30 shells of buckshot i don't yeah, get it yeah. someone please explain it to me but let me get back to the leaks here obviously i can't show all of the leaks i, I mean yeah. honestly most of them got taken down pretty instantly by activision <laughs> they were up <laughs> maybe <laughs> i mean i saw them for maybe like 10 uh. minutes i had 10 minutes to get my fill and what i saw i, I cannot be optimistic at all I'm sorry guys i saw tons of doors <laughs> tax printing again <laughs> <laughs> and just a skin that that looked like I don't know Cold War over Modern Warfare 2. I swear to you as well. Oh, bro, like you saw that little rat running around. Yeah, <laughs> pump the brakes real quick, man. You saw that. You saw that rat. That looked right? like, like I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Cold War. Look at that little piece of. Oh, we got another one. What? Yeah. How many rats we got? Man, I, I feel like that we don't even have that many cheaters in Call of Duty versus uh, these amount of rats running around in X Defiant. Over Modern Warfare 2. I swear to Damn. you as well, I saw gun mounting. I mean, guys, look, who wants this crap, man? Who in the hell said, like, I want all of these features from these Modern Warfare titles in my Treyarch game and also mess with the movement so you can river dance and shit and dive around like Max Payne? Who in the hell asked for that? The only thing people have been asking for for the past five years is... Tone down SBMM, improve the matchmaking, maybe have servers that are not stationed in, in the trenches, someone's basement in Bangladesh. I am sick of packet burst and packet loss, and you know that's going to be a thing. It's not going to change. It's actively gotten worse in the past five years. I'm not kidding with that. Maybe don't release a game every year. Maybe stick with one title and constantly update it. That's what X Defiant's doing. That's why X Defiant even exists. These issues I'm bringing up are why X Defiant even exists. I'll be honest with you guys. Oh, like, uh, okay, so he's now going to be glazing X Defiant. Uh, you know, I really want to know, right? Like, everybody gather on, okay? Real quick, gather on, all right? Do you think X Defiant is that good? I, I, I don't hate it though, but I don't love it either. I feel like that it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. You know what I'm saying? Like it's all right. It's all right. But but like, is is it that good to the point where that you you gotta glaze? It's uh, because the homie's always glazing, right? Like Joe Biden, blame Trump. He's always glazing. He's loving it. I'm happy that he's happy, right? I'm happy that he's liking the game. And you got eight thoughts, the homie eight thoughts, uh, Justin Trudeau guy, right? 
he is now loving Call of Duty. He's on that love Call of Duty train right now. So I'm also happy for him to be loving the game. I'm happy for both of these fellas, ladies and gentlemen. I'm happy for these dudes, bruh. Like the video if you're happy for them too. Real quick though, shout out to all of these uh, homie, homies out there for being a member on the channel. Shout out to all of you boo-boos out there. If you want to help support the channel, consider becoming a member on the channel. All right, let's get back to the content now, boo-boo. I am totally happy on X Defiant. If Cold War bombs, I do not give a shit this year. I will not uh -huh. be bored all year. No, I'm going to play X Defiant. I like this game. I have 225 hours or something like that in the game right now. They just buffed the shotguns. They got the weapon balanced like pristine. They just released a new map with Daytona. It's free to play. Repeat after me. It's free to play. I have no desire to touch the yearly guinea pig science experiment. We don't know what the hell we're doing. We're going to hold back features and charge you $70 multiplayer every single year. And yeah, it's on Game Pass this year year i might get a free voucher for game pass and just not give them any money whatsoever because uh -huh. i truly do not think this game is going to be good i have n so he spent 255 hours already i i i, I refuse to believe i refuse to believe that no no hopes for black ops 6 after seeing what i saw today it looks soulless i i don't think a lot of people understand what i mean when <laughs> i say a game is soulless they are making ai bundles now and, and selling them yeah. for 20 30 dollars in the store and here's my thing okay here's my thing if they are trying to and, do and, that and you see you see a lot of people are now hella suspect and they don't know like what is ai what is real content and what is ai content and to be fair though i don't necessarily care about the ai content i just hope that the game is fun that's what most people care for right they don't care like nobody cares if it's made by ai but of course like if you know that it's made by AI and then you find out that they're charging you $20, $30, you know, that $80 bundle, that King Kong Monkey Punch $80, uh, that $100 weapon skin that we had, right? If people find out that that was made by AI, for, like literally within a minute, right? <laughs> for free? Without any men power involved, of course, then people are gonna have a bad taste in their mouths, right? Like nobody cares if it's made by AI, but if you're gonna use AI, make sure it's good and the game is fun, and also don't be charging people. It should be like 50 cents for the. Bruh. You think I'm crazy? Come on, man, you crazy? If you think that it should be like uh, 20 dollars or something like that, 50, 50 cents, bro. 50 cents. I can go to China right now and can get the entire Activision Blizzard for two pennies. What are we talking here? What are we talking about? I can go there for buy it for two pennies and come back if it's still a penny in hands. Yeah, what are we talking about? If I'm staying at home, I'm willing to pay 50 pennies. Okay, 50 pennies for a skin. Like the video if you agree. And you see, right now a lot of people are also wondering, was this a friendly baby online? Was this friendly UAV online bundle made by AI? Nobody knows. Probably, it's probable. It's probable. Chances are high. Chances are high. Who's to say they won't do that for multiplayer features? Who's to say they won't just stop like releasing these new innovative features in general and then just have the same core engine and keep pasting AI bullshit over it and then you know shuffle around some features every year? Innovative, he said. And then call it a day. That's pretty much what they're doing anyway, but with actual devs. Why not just get AI to do it for you at this point? Every single game, and I'm serious here, man, every single Call of Duty game since Modern Warfare 2019 on has felt soulless. I would argue yeah, that a lot of them yeah. felt soulless before that, but really, really hammering home how, like, just, it's a game they want to shit out once a year and then just be done with it. You know, it's it, it's not a game that feels like it's made with love and care, that feels like the devs want to make the best game possible. And it's very, very apparent going from games like, uh, let's say, Lethal Company that I played just recently, which caught on, uh, Helldivers 2, X Defiant. These games. Yeah, they... uh, Lethal Company is the same game, right? That removed the Doctor to Suspect map, I believe, and the the, the his skin oh, shit. after that drama. Uh, yeah, man, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. And they those suckers actually refunded. No, nah, they were not looking to refund, but then people like like fuss. People uh, started talking about it, and when there was a lot of fuss about it, then they gave people their money back in like lethal company credits just like how you know in fortnite you got v bucks call of duty got cod points so people spent like 20 40 dollars something like that right and they ended up getting coins uh, lethal company like currency I instead Bruh. i make that make sense make that make sense so those bozos were like okay <laughs> you know what <laughs> you stay in the game we ain't giving you it, it bro getting the in-game currency that's literally free you spending the money on the game is not free. You spend your hard-earned money, right? 
and then they give you in-game currency which like they're just gonna like do this like it's just a couple of uh, taps on the keyboard and boom your account got all the in-game currency in the world right like they can give you 1 million 2 million 1 billion and you can then go ahead and buy everything in a way for free in the game as well right it's like it's one of those things it's one of those things so those uh, sickers actually did do that absolutely hilarious man it may have fallen off in popularity recently, and that's fine, that's fine, because the normies, I mean, the casual experience, the casuals coming into the space, have completely ruined gaming. I I'm sorry, I'm not trying to gatekeep here, and I'm not trying to crap on anyone that just wants to play a couple games, you know, a week and have a beer or whatever, but I am criticizing- But, but you are, though, but you are, though. The fact that these normies come in and they play games because it's cool and they play games because their friends are doing it But maybe we need to gatekeep a little bit Maybe we need to have a mode separated for these individuals and have them just play among us and prop hunt and stuff like that Instead of forcing them into the multiplayer component which historically for call of duty players has been more of a, a hardcore gamer space uh, I mean if they want to join in on the fun Maybe don't gaslight them and the good players and everyone that plays your game with skill based matchmaking Maybe just have them get uh, uh, you know you know what blame fits from what i'm hearing right now you know the bet the best solution for you would be if they shut down call of duty i, I think that's what it, I, I think at this point that's what you want so yeah yeah bro just say it bro just like let 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 just shut down call of duty let's just shut down call of duty get shit on a little bit like like x defying here i still run into new players this gameplay i got this last night nah, and to be honest though, i understand his points but man it's like the same old crap same old another day same old bull squash man <laughs> but recently this also just happened i'm not sure if you guys were able to catch it or not mr beast is going crazy he's suing everybody all around it's crazy right now he's trying to sue everybody check out this video on the screen if you already seen it then check out the video on the